The University of Bahrain and Prince Charles Foundation recently launched a master program in environment and sustainable development in a graduate program under the Faculty of Science. The launching ceremony was held at Zain's e-learning center at the University of Bahrain in Sakhir. My sincere congratulations uh, to University of Bahrain and Princess Foundations to launch this program. This program is very crucial for the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's very important for the Supreme Council for Environment. We are looking forward to work with the students, provide them with more information to do more research on this program. We are willing to give them an internship, um, to do um, some internship at the Supreme Council for Environment. This program will also help our fresh staff to get more knowledge and do a master's degree at the University of Bahrain. Has been supporting Bahrain for a number President of Bahrain University, Professor Hamza, addressed that the master program in environment and sustainable development, in collaboration with the British Prince Charles Foundation, is in line with the university plan to increase higher education programs at the University of Bahrain, especially the multidisciplinary programs. Today at the University of Bahrain, we've been uh, honored and pleased to have the launch of the MSc uh, in Environment and Sustainable Development in uh, cooperation with uh, Prince's uh, Foundation uh, in the UK. Uh, this is uh, a distinguished uh, program in terms of the subject uh, tackle and also in the research area in addition to the uh, experience that the students going to get on the uh, on their study while they are studying so we are very grateful for all the support we have been getting from the princess foundation and also from the uh, ministries different ministries here in bahrain the ceremony was attended by minister of housing his excellency Basim bin yaqub al hamar british ambassador to the kingdom of bahrain simon martin executive chairman of the supreme council of environment dr mohammed bin Dana, and representative of the prince charles british foundation simon sunsky and kim hedge It's a great pleasure to see uh, the program uh, developing between uh, Prince of Wales's foundation uh, and the University of Bahrain in this really, really important field. Uh, as many people will remember, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales visited in, uh, in December 2016. We had a, a very enjoyable uh, visit, sorry, November 2016. We had a very enjoyable visit. Um, uh, to, to end our 200th anniversary celebrations. Um, and one of the concrete outcomes of that visit was the establishment uh, of this collaborative master's program uh, in environment and sustainable development, focusing very much on, 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 on what's known as sustainable urbanism, so the, uh, the creation of, of communities that are sustainable, both in terms of their environmental impact but also in terms of the way that the communities operate and the way that people live together, work together, play together, socialize together. The Master Programme in Environment and Sustainable Development is a joint programme between University of Bahrain and the Prince Foundation for a Building Community. The programme is designed to boost students' professional and practice skills to enhance their career prospects in environmental science, sustainable development and sustainable urbanism. Uh, we're incredibly pleased to be working in collaboration with the University on this course which for us is an opportunity to help create a multidisciplinary course that brings people from different backgrounds together to learn together uh, and to teach together and one that really ties together theory and practice so that we're learning in the classroom and then we're learning on site and really to help create that next generation of practitioners teaching, promoting and, and implementing sustainable urbanism uh, is incredibly important to us. Uh, courses are delivered by an instructor from colleges and departments across the University of Bahrain and Prince Foundation for Building Community and collaboration with comprehensive range of governmental and non-government organizations.
Ramadan is time to practice self-restraints, a time to cleanse the body and soul from impurities and refocus oneself on the workshop of God. The Holy Month is a great time to get involved with the local Bahraini traditions and broaden your understanding of Islamic culture. Uh, well, thus far I've actually been preparing to participate in markets uh, in Ramadan. Yeah, it's a festive season, all the ladies want to get cute jalabiyas and stuff. Food-wise, I'm excited because I have a lot of chefs in the family. So, Mr. Ansahim be in the read, inshallah. I do, but I, I think in Ramadan I focus more on desserts, if anything. Definitely like Bahraini food, like, yani, chitharid. But you know what else? Sadiq. I've been looking forward to Sadiq. Mart uh, Khali makes a really good one. Actually, uh, in Ramadan, uh, people uh, uh, used to go uh, visit their families all the time, you know, especially in the night time and going to what we call it a majlis. People are uh, reading Quran, reading Quran, and uh, they are, they, it's by, you know, turn from uh, a person to person, you know, somebody, they will, they, they, they will, uh, they will uh, read a part of Quran, then the others, they will read the other part until Ramadan finish, so they finish reading all the Quran. And also people also going visiting others, you know, sometimes people, you know, they don't see each other all the time. Maybe a month, two months, but especially in Ramadan, they will see each other more often. It's, it's a bit different because uh, uh, basically uh, when you break your fasting, you have to uh, eat uh, food wh which is uh, more rich, more with uh, 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 liquids, you know, so especially the soups. We are uh, all the time uh, trying to break our fasting, uh, eating more foods, uh, uh, concent concentrating uh, more kind of uh, soups, you know, and also some other sweets, dates. So this is uh, our Ramadan uh, uh, breakfast. Yeah, Ramadan is a holy month. Uh, we are happy to uh, start this month going to the market, do shopping, prepare the also lighting at home. Mostly Ramadan is the same between all Arab countries. Same things, same traditions, same things. But here uh, you'll find like especially the sound of, uh, when the starting the Adhan on Maghrib, okay? And you'll feel something different, little different, okay? And uh, people here in the, in the streets while starting the Adhan, helping each other, make, giving them food, this new things. Okay, so uh, you'll feel like there is happiness also here. I like, uh, yes, traditional Bahraini food, some like it's uh, like majboos, uh, masli, uh, biryani, other things is also I used to eat. Well, I like to go to my grandma's, my grandma and grandpa's house and um, all my family usually come and we usually eat. We eat dinner there. We eat rice sometimes, and I we eat um, samosas. Sambusa. Uh, yeah. Sambusa. What else? Sambusa, <laughs> salad. I like everything. Like all kinds of food. All kinds of food. Okay. Well, most of the time we spend time with the family and tend to come out for shopping or for dinner during the evening time and it's a time that we spend catching up with friends and family. Well, we've, we've not really got a lot of time for TV after the baby came along 
So, well, hopefully we look forward to catching it on TV soon. Um, well, our preparation is uh, um, actually to prepare also nice food. Um, I'm originally Moroccan, so we have our Moroccan traditions, which are like um, um, uh, how you call it, uh, you know, so we, we prepare all the Moroccan traditional sweets, um, gather together uh, with the people. Uh, yes, my wife cooked them, uh, not me, but my wife and uh, my mother-in-law also. So uh, that's a privilege. And that is something which is uh, for us cultural, which we like and uh, to keep. Um, and at the same time, we also, uh, to be honest, uh, buy all type of types of tamar, uh, 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 Bahraini, Saudi, um, which we also like very much. We have uh, the Bahraini sweets, which we also add with the Moroccan. So Alhamdulillah, it's a mix of Moroccan and uh, Bahraini uh, food. Uh, to be honest, uh, for us, it's a na'ma to do Ramadan in an Islamic country um, because everything is actually focused on Ramadan, the timings, the people. Uh, if there is anything, it's all in the line of Ramadan. In Europe, you don't have that. It's in the line of work. Uh, well, the most important one for me is uh, Salat Tarawih which for me is a blessing and a relaxation as a, as a meditation. Um, that, that is number one, of course, for me in Ramadan. Uh, the second thing is uh, going out after Iftar, and uh, sorry, after Salat Tarawih, uh, which you see a lot of people, you feel yani, like a very cozy uh, atmosphere in Bahrain, in the malls, outside. Um, it's something you need to experience. It's sometimes difficult to to explain in words, Yanis Sarah.